Disclaimer. Oh, hello there. <laughs> Whoops, I didn't think anybody would be home and interrupt my cute, wholesome, demonic chanting. Good evening, laddies, lasses and lasses. Welcome to the click. I hope you're summoning a little cute demon by your house today. Because we are going to do something absolutely amazing that I haven't done in quite a while. We're going to look at r slash hellsome memes, which is wholesome stuff, but with a little bit of a demonic theme. And oh my god, I am so here for this. Just as much as I'm here for you being here with me today. Enjoy. Mwah. Oh, little demon, look at you being a chonker. Mwah. You're just swollen up with uh, with wholesome vibes. Oh, is that like a thing? You know when things swell up with pus, but it's like positivity? God, it's so cursed. <laughs> Well, spring is here. Looks like our time is just about up. Hey, do you believe in the water cycle? Do you mean that after we die, we'll evaporate into the sky and someday come down to Earth again? It's a nice thought, but I am more of a realist. I think after we die, we just water the plants and that's that. Uh, I guess you're probably right. Still, it's nice to think that maybe one day we'd end up together again as a pair of ice cubes in a glass or something. Yeah, that'd be nice. <gasps> oh, if they only knew! Oh my god, this is so wholesome and sweet gives me hope. Let's check out the last frame, shall we? <laughs> Later! Dang, we shouldn't have murdered so many people! <laughs> Aha! Uh -huh. What the hell? Aw, oh, nailed it. You know what they say, be gay, do crime, but not murder. Police! Can you help me with the ghost problem? But there is no such thing, lassie. Please! Okay, you've been reading too many scary stories, haha. -ha. Yes, I couldn't lift them back onto the shelf. Huh? I thought you said ghost problem. I did! I can knock him down and flip pages, but can't seem to lift them. Oh, <laughs> I, I, I get it. I understand. Sure, sure. Ah, oh, thank you! No, no problem at all. No problem at all. This is so good, though. Can't you just have wholesome haunting? Oh, this could be like a free friend program. Can you imagine that you have a lonely ghost who just wants someone to haunt and they're a bit lonely, lost soul, and you have someone living by themselves, feeling isolated from humanity, just like, oh! In a different universe, this would be a service I provided. Like, friendly, wholesome haunting. Yes. All right, let's see. Let's put the candles down. Yay! Wait a second. These are birthday candles. <gasps> you, you guys! Oh, that is so sweet. I want to be demonically summoned to a birthday party as well. Oh, did you used to have those, like, fish dams on birthdays when you were a kid when you just put up, like, a drape or something and you have a stick with a string that you throw over top and, like, a parent ties a bag of candy or something to it and they pinch it and you're like, oh, I got a fish made of candy. I should do that as an adult party with that kind of theme, but instead of candy bags, it's, like, liquor bottles. <laughs> That'd be so much fun. I need to do this for next New Year's. A reminder that Catholics should not support or attend LGBTQ Pride Month events held in June. They promote a culture and encourage activities that are not contrary to Catholic faith and morals. <laughs> they are especially harmful for children. A reminder that Satanists should decide for themselves if they support or attend LGBTQ Pride Month events held in June. As a carnal region, Satanism embraces all forms of consensual adult sex activity and gender identity. But Keith keeps away from Catholics <laughs> just to be safe. I swear to God, Twitter is an absolute cesspool, but sometimes there is, mysteriously, a little gold nugget that just floats up to the surface. Oh, yes, little demon, I can't wait to go to Pride events with you, it's gonna be absolutely amazing, Mwah. it's gonna be so satanic and cute. Look, it's fine, just pay more attention to your strings next time. That's so sweet, maybe you can join in on the knitting. <gasps> I want a demonic knitting friend, oh. Meow, 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 meow. Trick or treating with three of your past lives. This shouldn't be as cute as it is. Oh, it's so adorable. I want Halloween cats too. Which cat would you prefer the most? Let me know down in the comments. Do you want Skelly Cat? Do you want Witch Cat, Ghost Cat, or Zombie Cat? I'm kind of leaning towards Ghost Cat. I mean, don't get me wrong, Zombie Cat is badass, but I imagine the smell isn't great. Dracula transforms into bats. Me, I'm um, a flappy sky puppy. Come here, there is blanket, and I've got the brushy brushy for you. Do you want the brushy brushy? Dracula. Me. Dracula. Me. Dracula. Tiny voice. Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You see, even Dracula likes the brush brush cuddle cuddles. <sighs> so beautiful. 
If I need consent to enter somebody's body, then so do you. Oh, Shaitanya, Waitanya, you have all the consent. <laughs> uh, Uvu, look at that. Look at the little horns. Look at the little horns. So horny. I did it. Moving on. We need to deliver some messages. Yes, ma'am. Shall I send the cherub? No, send the other guy. <laughs> He's like, which message should you send? It kind of makes sense how people were so shocked by angels in the olden tales in the Bible and stuff. If this is actually what they look like, if it's like a little Sharu being like, oh, gee, hello there, odd baby with wings. What up? It's like, no, here's like this eldritch nightmare that seems to be staring into your soul being like, I come in peace. Great. So is demon girl and little angel Bobby. Oh my god, it's eating a ring. It's so cute defending angel Bobby. And angel Bobby gave the ring to demon. No. <laughs> this video is not only like plucking your heartstrings, it's like violently thrashing them. <sighs> I'm not sure if I can handle this. Hello, mom. Can you pick me up? I'm at Costco. Yeah, they mistook me for a Halloween prop again. Okay, see you soon. Bye. Crying Mini Reaper, $59.99. No assembly required. Place annoying sniffling sounds. Will try to escape. I think you could sell this for more than 60 bucks if it has like a mind of its own. Jesus Christ. One thing I genuinely wonder though is how long it's gonna take until they hook up toys with like Wi-Fi and stuff to like chat GPT stuff. I've already seen some integrations with this in like demo video games where you walk up to a character that is programmed using chat GPT and then it actually replies in live time. So it's not like in Fallout, for example, where you have four dialogue options where you say yes, no, sarcastic, no, or super sarcastic, no. It's you can actually in live time tell it stuff like, hey, how are you doing? And it will reply are based on what the AI has generated. So it's like a live continuous conversation that is unique every time, which is really cool. I wonder when that's going to happen to toys as well and how uh, cursed it's going to be. <laughs> Remember the, like the beta versions. When <laughs> oh, those toys are not going to tell us good things, man. Pfft, those costumes aren't scary. Uh, wait, what is that? What the heck is that? Oh my god, oh yes indeed. You see, I think one wholesome thing we can take away from this is that fear and what triggers you is very subjective. Take something like triggers me, hardcore for example, I hate needles, I have a raging phobia, I pass out like a manly man. Last time I went to a COVID vaccine and almost uh, fell over, the nurse was like, please don't fall on me, you look heavy, and it's like, jeesh, <laughs> thanks, I guess. Dunk, but uh, I think it's very subjective. That's something I'm super scared of, super worried. I've been worked for many years to try to overcome that phobia, and I don't think I ever will completely. But for other people, it's just an annoying little pinch, and that's it. They don't mind at all. And I think this shows that kind of thing so beautiful. It's kind of a deep message that respect people when they tell you what is triggering to them or what they're worried about because it varies so much between people. And one important thing to remember is that you don't necessarily have to relate to it in order to simply respect it. All right, moving on to next meme. Ah, welcome to hell. I'm supposed to torture you forever or some sh but God never really comes down to check in on us, uh, so help yourself to the minibar or whatever the- Surprise, motherfucker! Ah, shit! You see? It's all God's fault. Satan is innocent. He wouldn't let us go to the minibar and everything, and he comes down and hippity hoppity, make sure to torture all the little cool souls. Why? Ah, oh, ghost. Hmm? Ah, uh, here we go. There. Hmm. Oh, this? The scythe is just for disasters and battlefields. It's overkill for almost anything else. They got a little ghost sister. Oh. Effective immediately. All schools that ban drag queens will instead have death metal story hour. Your child will learn how to burn churches and sacrifice goats while summoning a decent ranking demon. <laughs> You see, if you ban this one thing, we will just one-up it. It's like a hydra. Cut off one hand, and it comes out two more. They're even more fabulous. The plot twist here is also that the demon you would summon is also uh, a drag demon. So, so there's also that. There's no escape. Hot goth in the woods that keeps answering the door and sighing and going, No, I am not the witch. He lives over there and points across the street to a dazzling pretty boy, wearing a gold waistcoat who's waving excitedly at them. This happens 268 times a month. No, I am not the witch, he lives over there. Oh, hi there! Move in together. Problem solved. That witch hasn't said a single word, but I am calling it now, himbo. And yes, move in together, platonically or romantically, doesn't matter. I would watch the heck out of that WLW MLM solidarity fantasy sitcom anyway. 
A fair maiden knocks on the goth lady's door and says she's here to find love. The goth sighs, point across the road and says, Which is over there? He doesn't do love potions because consent, but he might be able to make you prettier, although 90% of the time it turns out the spell didn't do anything but make you more confident. The maiden blushes and sheepishly explains that she knows he's the witch. She just talked to him and he sent her over here? <gasps> Goth looks over her shoulder to see the himbo witch standing outside his house, giving her a grin and a double thumbs up. <laughs> yes! To all of this! This sounds amazing. Can we make this a show? If you need a voice actor for this animated show, hit me up. I can play both. <laughs> Whoops, spill the salt. Toss. Why do you throw salt over your shoulder? <laughs> it's a silly old superstition. The devil comes up behind you if you spill the salt. <gasps> Oh no, so much salt, <laughs> all over the place. I am so clumsy. <laughs> oh, Satan, they wait in here, please don't sneak up on me from behind. Oh God, something's crawling under the bed. Oh, it's just coral. Night, night. Uh, night, night, coral. Now, where were we? Oh, that's right. What were you planning to do to my human, Mr. Boogie? Answer quickly. I have to start screaming and sprinting around the house for no reason soon. Oh, that is a very relatable thing. It's like squeezing to your schedule that you have to randomly run around the house. I'm not even a cat, and even I relate to this. Here is the monster sleeping under the bed. Here is the monster sleeping under the hammock. Here is the monster chilling under the floaty device. And here is the monster in the coffin underneath you. You see, it's a ride or die. It's a ride or die. If you have a monster under your bed, he's there for life and in a wholesome way. He's there to support you. You're never alone. Remember that. He's always there, no matter how bad of a day you're having. Oh, <gasps> you can always count on your little underneath the bed monster. Can I make that into a merch plushie? Is that a thing? A plushie? You're like supposed to put it under your bed so it either guards you from other nightmares and monsters or it like it's always there for you like a wholesome demon following you around. Do you hear the emotional support demon? How about that under the bed demon? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I need to work on the name a little bit, but well, that sounds amazing. Dracula's cat. Child-sized coffins. Hmm. Ah. Oh, look at that kitty. It's so happy and scary. Oh my god, what a chonker. Is that also a vampire cat? I'm kind of skeptical about combining, uh, like, vampirism with cats, because they're already sociopathic enough as it is, <laughs> but in, like, a lovable way. Reasons to visit your local haunted bookshop. Open until very late. Staff with 900 years of experience. Home delivery by headless horseman or flying fiend. Readings from famous authors. Oh, like live read? Oh, that's amazing. Stay and browse forever. Oh, I mean, I, yeah, I guess if you get stuck there, if you start listening to like the actual authors that come back to life, you would probably spend a lifetime there and then you would probably just be stuck forever. It, this sounds like kind of a vibe, you know? Out of all the theories I've heard about the afterlife and all that kind of things, this, this is probably one of the better ones. When I grew up, my Christian parents gave an illustrated picture book of people burning in hell for sinning, while this is something Satanists give their children. Good night, Baphomet. Oh, let's see here. Respect everyone's right to be, especially when they disagree. If the words make you mad, set them free. Don't be sad. This is like legitimately wholesome and good wisdom. It's like very live and let live kind of vibes. This is amazing. <laughs> what a good children's book. First thing to do to become guardian of the underworld is facing your demons. Snap. Poof. <gasps> okay, maybe a bit extreme. Snap. Poof. Uh, not yet. Snap. Poof. Almost. Snap. <gasps> oh, they're adorable. I always knew you could do it. Eh, not fair. That's amazing. You see, I think something very true in life in general is to not take on too much too quickly. Say, for example, you want to change something about your life or you want to overcome something, whatever it might be. Taking small steps is so much better because taking on too much at the same time will very often overwhelm you and then just kind of burn you out on it and you won't make any progress or fall back into whatever old thing you were trying to change. Taking very small step towards it would also feel rewarding because you're actually making progress instead of trying to take a big bite too early and kind of choking on it. So this is very beautiful. I love this. Thank you for releasing me from that horrible child. The truth about exorcism. Oh yeah, they're actually on the same team. <laughs> Children can be little rascals. They can also be very fun. I'm home. Hmm. Ah, crunch, crunch, drip, drip. Hmm. Nice move. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, he passed out again. Hmm, fixing clothes. Brush, brush. Click. <laughs> Boo. <gasps> Leela. Shh. 
Don't wake your daddy. How are things at work? Oh, not so bad. Nothing much new, of course. I always look forward to visiting my favorite kid. So tell me about your week, kiddo. Well, on Tuesday, I got an A-plus on my big math test. And then, and then... That is so... It literally is an emotional support demon. That's literally what this is. Oh, that's so cute. I love this. This is so good. That The fact that this is a concept is so sweet. Turn your nightmares into something positive. <laughs> I curse you so no man loves you ever again. <gasps> oh my god, for real. My hero. Huh? Hey, marry me. It's a, it's a very unexpected twist of events, but uh, a very welcome one indeed. And then they lived happily ever after. Is there a movie? That is like this, like a witch is cursing stuff and then they just end up together happy and that kind of stuff. I want this to be a movie. Can this be a movie? No, you can't get her that. It's not safe. That's a sword. They're not meant to be safe. She's a child. It's educational. What if she cuts herself? That will be an important lesson. <laughs> I kind of like Skeleton Santa. Should I do this for the next family Christmas? Dress up as Skeleton Santa? Maybe I'll just traumatize the kids. Maybe it's not a good idea. <laughs> but if I give them swords... Maybe they'll forgive me. Remember, Satan was the first to demand equal rights. He gets us. Oh, Satan, I'll never forget it. That is beautiful. Behold, mortal, this is the pit of hell, where you will dwell forever. Forever, 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 forever. Uh, is there Wi-Fi? Yes, there's Wi-Fi. I'm not a jerk, you know. Oh, okay, then I'm good. <laughs> I like how they keep up with the times. This is beautiful. Furries go to hell. <laughs> The title alone has me very intrigued. Next torture method, the lava pit. You will be feeling a constant burning pain, and I won't let you out for the next 100 years. <gasps> Yay, hot tub! Wait, no! Three, two, one, splash! Four bros chilling in a hot tub, zero feet apart, because they're all gay. You see, hell is amazing. They have hot tubs, they have gayness, they probably have pirates. It's so much fun. It's so much fun. Voldemort likes snakes, magic, and death. Zero matches. Mm. One match. <gasps> it's Medusa. Oh, it's a match made in heaven, isn't it? Marcy's art. Depression. And it's like the cute little ghosts. Oh, is this like the what? What is it? Like the like the the things for theater? Like the the things holding their? It's that thing, but with but with ghosts. That is so cute. Me. Me showing Mephisto my chatbot conversations. Uh. The thing that AI is learning from everything we're throwing at it, right? Like, we are the training data, which makes me very worried about the future of AI. Tess, what is, like, your ideal dates? Mmm, they would be a 50-foot skeleton rampaging through a town while I watch Netflix and eat cake in my apartment inside their skull. And then, when our long day of rampaging and Netflixing is over, d don't say it, we would bone! Oh, oh, I love a painful pun that just like, oh, strikes a nice little thing through my spine. Pride getting a whole month, the other six since not even getting a single day. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. Happy Pride every month. Oh, yes, indeed. Indulge in your beautiful sinning. Oh, yes, indeed. Who are you calling Pinhead? Oh, I see, because it's like, it's like the Pinhead creature. Oh, that's nice. I can't enjoy my work while I feel appreciated like this. <laughs> yes. Oh. Oh. <laughs> when you try to torture, like, raging masochists down in hell. Oh, life is difficult as a demon, man. Foolish mortal. You have come alone to my lair. I guess we can only play the two-player games. Is this like a, like a DM neckbeard dragon lair? That sounds fun. Wait, 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 so technically vampires are vegetarians. OP, elaborate. Blood is a non-meat animal product like dairy or eggs. That counts as vegetarian, don't it? Hmm. <laughs> wait, wait, does it? Does it? What? Can you be vegetarian vampire? Oh my god. I am not wearing any underwear. Uh -huh. Then maybe we could go back to my place so you don't get a cold. And here's the blanket and tea and just watching some films. Oh, this is such a vibe. This is such a vibe. Oh my god. Hey girl, better come back to my place for some blankets and tea. Ain't nobody taking my virginity. 
curious George reading cursed books, interacting with demon clowns. Ooh, little alien egg. Curious George going into machine. Curious George summoning demon. Curious George don't dead open in don't, don't open dead inside. Don't dead open inside. Curious George summoning demon with a Ouija board. And little curious George doing more demonic stuff. This is very wholesome and sweet. The proper children's book. Pride D month. Oh no, it's in the middle of Pride month. How could we not see this all this time? No, little demon, can you believe this? There is a demon in the middle of Pride month. Ah, oh. this would be amazing charity merch. Just gonna just gonna put that out there. Let's see the scrolling some memes. Emotional support demon went on a hike with me to Cliffhall State Park in India. Wait, there's emotional support demon poster. It's a what? I need to see this. I need to see. It's five pictures. <gasps> Here's the emotional support demon just vibing by by the trail. Here's the emotional support demon by the trail with a nice green background. Here's the emotional support demon just hopping on the little rocks on the river. That's so freaking cute. Here's the emotional support demon on the trail, and here's the emotional support demon chilling in front of lake. That is so freaking. Oh my god, I love this. This is just. Oh, this is so unexpected. I was just scrolling memes, and all of a sudden there are emotional support. Oh. This warms my little dark Swedish heart. This is amazing. Wow. The click army will rise. If only they had made more. More emotional support teams to the board. I'm gonna have to make a round two next year, man. It's gonna be so good. Such pretty pictures. I hope click sees these. I have indeed. Ah, oh, so absolutely amazing. I'm so happy to see this. That's one of the coolest things we make in like plushies or physical things like this. It becomes a symbol of like community and beautifulness. Not not to mention it's just like super duper cute, but also the fact that you get to see it physically in the world. Like when you do things like this, digital stuff or videos or whatever it might be, sometimes it's hard to feel that it's actually real because it's hard to touch and feel, right? But with something like this, something physical that you can actually see being spread into the world, it is amazing. It is so cool. It is so cool. You there! You have heard of the Grim Reaper, right? How about the Glam Reaper? Ha, <laughs> rotted! Who fart? <laughs> oh, yes, indeed, girl! I, uh, I wanna be raptured by a Glam Reaper, honestly. Is there, like, a form you can fill out before you pass? Is that a thing? Hmm, bump? Oops! Uh huh, you like that, don't you? Blah, blah! So tell her that Schneider husband, that's an intellect of our and she says, I know I prefer him that way. <laughs> you know, Mimic House, you're all right. Let's do this again sometime. I'm gonna hit the hay before I get in trouble. Good night. Later still. Uh, husband, close the window. Uh, where did my house go? Oh no, the house is drunk. It's just like smearing out all over the floor because it can no longer stand up because it's too drunk. Oh no. <laughs> This is such a good concept. I need to implement this in my next D&D campaign that the party has like a mimic house pro. It can set up house wherever you choose. So in the middle of your adventure, you can just like, oh yeah, we want to have a house here for a bit so we can chill and it's bam, house. And the downside is when it gets drunk, it just falls down and all the walls fall over because it can't stand up because it's too drunk. <laughs> this is such a good concept. I love this. Now go to sleep before I beat your butt. Uh, w will you check under the bed for monsters, Dad? Uh, fine, you freaking P-word. Okay, there are no monsters under the bed. What the- ah, ah, sp 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 Nope, no monsters. I love you too, son. That is so, like, well, very murderous and gory, but it's kind of wholesome and sweet. You see, the monster was the abusive parent all along, and the monster has their side all along. You see, under the bed, wholesome monster companion demon plushie coming soon? Maybe? No, I'm working on the Cer Cerberus uh, duck plushie. Um, that's, a, that's a thing that's in the works, apparently. It's gonna be beautiful, I believe. <laughs> Hello, I would like to complain about the bird feeder I bought. It's not the right kind of birds. There's just a bunch of 1400s era plague doctors. It's creeping me out. <laughs> They're just standing around the bird thing. Is that? Yeah, it's a cool place. Yeah, I like it. Hmm. She has other monsters to deal with right now. You see? Under the bed, emotional support demon, monster, crawly, freaking uh, demon, uh, social stuff. <sighs> it will be so cool. The name needs a bit of polish, though. 
Shout out to girlies who don't use any product on their horns and talons, rawr. Yeah, I only use a buffing wax and a gentle calcite oil plus screener if I'm going to be on the sun. No F that. It's about people who let the water stain stick who aren't afraid of fading. The obsession with looking like in your still your hundreds is so toxic and like, who cares if you're 340 and one horn is slightly darker than the other. Gorl, anyone who gives a shoot about that? Mm hmm yes indeed. Oh my god. Little demon and girls aging all naturally like they should. It's time to burn the incense. It's time to slay the sheep. It's time to wake the Muppets from a thousand years of sleep. It's time to raise existence. It's time to banish light. It's time to call the void in on the Muppet Show tonight. Ooh, I like this. I kind of want to turn this into a short with demonic chants and stuff. that will be so cool. Hop! There she goes again, hiding under the bed for no reason. Hmm. Aww, oh, you see, the kitty befriends everyone in the house. It's keeping the peace. I, uh, I just need a hug. Hmm. Me too. Oh! You see, sending hugs through the realms. I am going to set fire to something you love. Snap. <laughs> uh, really? Oh! That's how you find out that you're meant for each other. Woo! Gayness with Satan. I love it. Happy Pride Month. Are you okay? I, I guess. I mean, it all depends on how you define okay. People are okay, don't have to put this much thought into the question. Oof, that, uh, yeah, that hits. <laughs> God damn. Remember, it is okay to ask for help. That is the norm with so many things in life. If your car breaks down, you call a mechanic. If you have problems with your piping, you call a plumber. It's a me, Mario. But if you have trouble with your mental health, you call a professional and you talk about it and you figure it out. It's perfectly okay. This notion that it should be stigmatized to the point that you can't ask for help, but it's the norm for everything else in our life doesn't make sense. If you are in trouble, if you're feeling like something isn't right, talk about it. Even if it's not like a super massive issue right now. I know people that have seeked out help for these things and sometimes it can be stuff that has a relatively easy fix. I know, for example, friends that have gotten medication for very basic hormonal imbalances and with that simple little fix, bam, it just helps so much with their everyday life. So if you're feeling like that, make sure to seek out help because you deserve it. So, you're still going out with that new lady? Oh yeah, it's amazing. I have never dated anyone who's so into the fact that I'm blind. It's great. Ah, I love you. That is so sweet. The blind date who's immune to your, like, curse and stuff. Ah, oh. oh, match made in heaven. Or in hell. Devil book. Boom. I have come straight from hell to take you. Oh my god, from hell? How tall are you? Um, what? Uh, seven foot with, with the horns? <laughs> You're like so funny. <laughs> ah, yes, indeed. Summoning demons like a bottom be like. Mm -mm. The Kiss of Death is a marble sculpture made in 1930 and found in Poblano Cemetery on Barcelona. It depicts death in the form of a winged skeleton planting a kiss on the forehead of a young man. Hey, don't worry. It will all be okay, death whispered to the weary young man. Aww. You see that? Even angels of death can be wholesome and supportive. You see a little demon? Oh yes, indeed. Halloween, the most important and the most emotionally supportive part of the year. Um, okay. Hmm. As a kid, I had debilitating night terrors. And one night I had a dream that a big, grotesque and disfigured creature came slinking out of the closet. He looked me in the eye and said with slobber dribbing from his sharp teeth, Don't worry. I won't ever let another nightmare hurt you. And it worked. That is so, you see? Like one nightmare, who's like nice, wholesome, but scarier than the others, but chooses to protect you, just keeps everything else away. That is so sweet. Also, I don't know if you guys have ever seen the medieval beekeeper garb, but... <laughs> what? This looks like a creepypasta. It is the best. This is cursed, and I hope it's made up. Nope. Woodcut from 1545. Respect our basket-faced cousins. <laughs> The beekeepers, Peter Bruegel the Elder, 1568. Now that plague doctors are cultural icons, I want these to be next and I hope we arbitrarily decide that the two are somehow rivals. Why would they be rivals? They're dating and boop their masks together to kiss. The birds and the bees! Ah, look, it's the birds and the bees! They are dating! This is so perfect! This is so freaking perfect! The plague doctors and the beekeepers, the bird and the bees. <gasps> 
can we also turn this into a movie? We have we have a long list of potential movies now, but I but I feel it's just it's just good, man. My kitty chilling with Bob, my emotional support demon. <gasps> Look at that! Is she another one? Is she? Oh! I also love how you have two emotional support demons now. One kitty and one emotional support demon. It's so cute! Oh my god, it's so amazing! You see that emotional support demon? Look at it! Look at it and embrace it! <sighs> this this makes my heart so full. Haha, <laughs> now go, my undead servant, go and do your master's bidding. <laughs> Is this really necessary? Think of all the time I will save in the future! You can raise house servants. Can I raise someone to clean my house? I hate doing that. Can I just vacuum the house? Is that a thing? Don't go dancing with the devil! Uh, why? He's too good! Ah, oh, the dancing devil! Oh, <laughs> oh yes indeed, aren't you a little... devil? A simple guide to sign language. Greetings. Just a bit. A-okay. Good job. Heavy metal. Over there. Wash your hands. It's inside of you. Open. Your soul, the truth, is in the cosmos. Perform the eldritch rites. The seals have broken. The master's awake! Is this all the stuff that, like, uh, people with sign language do? Is this what they're communicating all the time? I, I sort of want to be part of it. This, sound, this sounds lit. Look at this gang. Isn't it great? We make a good D&D group. Nerdimus, the Grand Mage, Sir Juggalot, Handsome Wall, Olgalia, the Bone Caller, Tigra, the Barbarian Queen. Now we just need a healer. Um, this feels wrong. You summon Satan Awaitene just to be a healer. <laughs> that looks amazing. I love the contrast. Me, mommy, hmm, hmm, and hug. That is a wholesome and sweet. Sometimes you find love and care in unexpected places. Don't judge a book by its cover, because even though it's a spoopy little book that looks satanic, it might be filled with wholesomeness. Well, Laris, Lazos, and Lazos, thank you so much for watching this video, you beautiful, amazing bean. I hope you had a good time watching it, and I hope to see you again in the very near future. Take care. Mwah.